Hey, what's up everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another live episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast coming at you from MortgageMarketingCoach.com. And uh, today we're gonna talk about why the one trick pony solutions out there that you see time and time again being hocked to loan officers and mortgage professionals will keep you struggling, will keep you stuck, and will put you in a very precarious position when rates go up and when the storms, the inevitable storms in the market hit, and perhaps more importantly, how to become a recession-proof, thriving while everyone else is struggling to just survive mortgage professional who's kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, and crushing it in the face of market so-called downturns. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, you've definitely showed up to the right place today for today's podcast episode. And the reason why I thought it would be timely for me to discuss this topic is because right now, certainly in the US of A, there's a lot of low hanging fruit. It's like shooting fish in a barrel right now with refis. Rates are at all time lows and there's a lot of really fresh, juicy, ripe fruit that is ripe for the picking that doesn't even require a ladder to pick. You can pick it from the ground. Heck, you can pick it from your knees. You don't even have to stand on your outstretched legs. You can be on your knees and pick it. That's how low hanging it is. And so we got a avalanche of awesome happening in the US of A right now as it, as it relates to refis. The problem, of course, is that's gonna dry up. Sooner or later, that low hanging fruit is gonna dry up. Rates are gonna go up and everyone's gonna be clamoring after the same real estate agents, the same uh, referral partners, and it's gonna be a massive bloodbath and people are gonna to start to drop like flies as the low hanging fruit st starts to dry up and they realize that that one trick pony that they were relying on, whether, whatever it might be, is now gonzo and now they got no income coming in and they're wondering how they're gonna pay the bills and a lot of people are gonna be out of the business because they weren't preemptive and proactive about setting themselves up on a solid foundation. So when the storm hits, they're ready for it. So they can not only survive during the storm, but even thrive in the midst of the storm while everyone else is striving and struggling and stressing. So, we see all these so-called mortgage coaches and marketing experts out there hawking their stuff as the magic pill, as the silver bullet for success. You know it and I know it, right? We see it in our news feeds. We see it everywhere we look. They got the magic pill, the silver bullet to success. And the truth is that no matter what they might be hawking, there is no such thing as a magic bullet. There's no such thing as this magic pill that all of a sudden, just because you've got one tactic or one strategy, you're gonna have ironclad success forever. It just doesn't work like that. And anyone who's gonna tell you otherwise is full of BS, because at the end of the day, building longevity in this business and any business takes more than just a one trick pony. The problem with the one trick pony solutions is if you're relying only on Facebook leads and all of a sudden, Mark Zuckerberg goes full stupid and does something moronic. All of a sudden, Facebook starts to slide down the hill and leads start going down the toilet. What happens to your lead flow? It goes down in the toilet with everything that's going on with Facebook. Same thing with refis. If all you're relying on refis and you don't have a strategic, proactive approach to bringing in a reliable, stable stream of business on the purchase market in the face of turbulence, then as soon as rates go up, your income is gonzo, your income dries up. Same thing when it comes to going after realtors, calling the same 40 realtors every Monday with the same lame ass approach from you know, 1998. It might've worked back then, it doesn't work anymore. If you're relying on a one trick pony that worked a decade or two ago and times have changed and all of a sudden now you're riding a dead horse, I would suggest you dismount before that dead horse causes your business to be dead and you're out of business. So the one trick ponies out there, whether it be showing your realtor how to generate more business with one tactic or feeding them crap leads through Facebook that don't convert, or maybe they're even good leads through Facebook. But if that's all you're relying on is one thing, it's kind of like sitting on a one legged stool. 
you know, it might keep you up just by virtue of your athleticism. You can maybe balance for a little while, but it's just a matter of time until you fall because it's a precarious position to be in if all you're relying on is one or two strategies. Frankly, even one, two or three strategies, it's a very precarious position. Think about a table with one or two or three legs. It's a pretty unstable table. Wouldn't you agree? So as soon as the storm hits, you're toppling over. You're going to be first and most affected by market downturns, not least and last. You want to be least and last, not first and most. Agreed? So the one trick pony solutions out there, unfortunately, feed you this BS line that it's the magic bullet, bullet. it's the, uh, the silver bullet to success. But what they're not telling you is that if all you have is that one strategy and you're not building a multimedia, multi-pillared approach to your business and you're not building stability through diversification, you're setting yourself up for a fall and you're setting yourself up to be first and most affected by market downturns, not least and last. And that's what they're not telling you. What they're not telling you is if that one strategy that they're giving to you stops working, you're screwed. What they're not telling you is that by having a myopic, anemic, and lacking of diversification marketing strategy, you're in a very vulnerable and precarious position. What they're not telling you is if that one thing fails to work in the future, you're screwed and you're scurrying around trying to figure out how you're gonna pay the bills. That's what they're not telling you. And what I'm here to tell you is if you want to have longevity in this business, if you wanna thrive while everyone else is just struggling to survive, you need to build stability through diversification. Think about the Parthenon. We go to Greece and we see this ancient structure that's been standing for over 3,000 years, the Parthenon. Over 3,000 years of wars and storms and erosion, and yet it still stands. How could that be? Is that because it has five pillars or 10 pillars or 20 pillars? No, it has 69 pillars, friends. 69 pillars that give it strength that give it fortification, that give it stability. You wanna have the same approach in your business. You wanna build stability through diversification. So while your competitors are sitting on that one-legged stool with their one-trick pony hawked by some so-called marketing or mortgage expert that gives them one solution and they're just hoping and wishing and praying that one solution keeps working, you're putting systems in place, campaigns in place, a multi-pronged, multi-pillared, multimedia marketing system that's undergirded with technology and automation and diversification. And so you're not just relying on clients. You're not just relying on realtors. You're not just relying on Facebook. You're not just relying on social media. You're relying on a multi-pronged, multi-pillared, multimedia approach. So if any one of those pillars fails, you've got plenty of backup. You've got a full quiver. Does that make sense, guys? So for example, while your competitors are myopically focusing on that one thing, that one silver bullet they think is the magic that's gonna give them longevity forever. You are consistently, day in and day out, putting systems in place, like automation and systems to follow up with your prospects and your clients at the right time, with the right message, with the right approach, so that you're able to maximize conversion of prospects into clients, not just with email, but with text, with direct mail, with social media. And then when it comes to clients, you're not just relying on you know some cookie cutter crap from your company, CRM, that's snoring, boring, that puts them to sleep. And that's fine if they're complaining about insomnia, but if you wanna actually cultivate a real relationship and add real value and have them stick to you like super glue, you can't afford to rely on cookie cutter crap from your company CRM, let's be real. And so now you've got campaigns going out by email, by direct mail, using video, you're using uh, social media, you're using the telephone, you're using text, you're using a multitude of different approaches to cultivate that relationship, to out, add wow factor, to exceed the client experience. To, to exceed their expectations and give them an extraordinary wow factor experience. So you're able to get one, two, three deals for every 100 past clients per month. 
one to three deals per month for every 100 past clients. Do the math on that. How much is that worth to you? Chances are you're leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table every single month if you have more than 100 clients in your database because you're not getting the one or two or three deals per month. You're maybe getting one or two or three every three or four or five or six months. So now you're maximizing repeat and referral business. In addition to that, you're bringing a kick-ass unique value proposition to your realtors, top producing realtors, not bottom feeding, whiting, sniveling, complaining, jelly, donut eating, low producing realtors. We're talking about the top dogs who are doing 20, 30, 40, 50, even 70 plus transactions a year. And they're giving you all their business all the time. They're putting you on their speed dial. They're making you their exclusive lender, working on your terms, not theirs. You've set it up so that they need you more than you need them with such a kick-ass unique value proposition that you're in the power position, you call the shots. And now you've got a stable of six, 10, 12 of these top producers sending you all their business. Even the clients who come to them already pre-approved are getting sent to you for a second look for a free, no obligation, cost of boring analysis to ensure their client is getting the best mortgage with the best rates and terms available. That's the power of having an exclusive relationship with a top producing realtor. And you don't just have one of them. You have six, 10, 12 solid partnerships, building stability through diversification. You're not relying on just one way to add value. You're adding value by helping them automate and improve their database marketing. You're helping them get more leads at their open houses. You're helping them convert more of those leads. You're helping them dominate on Google with five-star reviews. You're helping them win more listings. You're helping them get more buyers. You're helping them in so many different ways because you have a full quiver. You're not a one-trick pony. You're a well-diversified mortgage marketing master. Notice the difference. And on top of that, you're also dominating on your own local search on Google. So when people search for a mortgage professional in your area, you're actually showing up top of the list with more five-star reviews than any of your competitors. So you become the only logical choice with five-star reviews that make you literally the preeminent only logical choice in your market. So now you've got a steady stream of these quality leads coming in from Google, straight from Google, at no cost to you who are hot for what you got, pre-sold, pre-tenderized, and predisposed to say yes to work with you because of your gleaming, beaming, five-star reputation. So you can see now we're building stability through diversification. We got videos on social media. We got emails going out to your prospects and your clients and your realtors. We got direct mail going out every month to your prospects, clients, and realtors that wows them, that, cult that cultivates that connection, that adds value with something meaningful and worthwhile. You can see just by virtue of some of the things I've talked about that you're going to absolutely obliterate your competition that's just myopically focusing on refis or is just myopically focusing on sending out an, a boring cookie cutter crap email from the company CRM once every week or two weeks or once per month. You can see by building this well-diversified marketing machine, you're gonna obliterate your competition because they're relying on the one trick pony with an anemic marketing media or a marketing set of campaigns and they don't have a clue how to keep up with you because you're so well diversified. You're so fortified with so many different ways to bring in business, to add value, to cultivate the relationship to convert prospect into client and the client into an evangelist that they literally get left in the dust. They can't even think about what you're doing because you're at a whole other level. That's the kind of level I want you guys to operate. And the truth is that 99.9% .9 of the so-called experts and coaches out there are getting you to operate at a very myopic, anemic level. They're hawking the one thing like Facebook leads. They're hawking the one thing like maybe one or two campaigns to add value to your realtors. They're hawking the one thing like calling realtors every Monday with the same lame ass approach from 10, 20 years ago that doesn't work anymore. They don't have that power Parthenon approach. And that's why you'll invest in something like that and it doesn't work because you're relying on a one trick pony. That might have worked 10, 20 years ago. It doesn't work anymore, friends. And Lord knows when rates go up and when the economy starts to have turbulence, and it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. It's those who are preemptive and proactive in building this power Parthenon multi-pronged approach who are going to thrive while everyone else is just struggling to survive. I want that to be you. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to wake up from your stupor 
of being asleep at the wheel and cobbling your comfort zone, thinking it's gonna be lollipops, rainbows, and unicorns and sunny skies forever, and realize the storm is gonna come. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And the cool thing about being preemptive and proactive and being able to set up a multi-pronged, uh, multi-pillared approach with the power Parthenon approach is that you not only maximize your revenue and profits now, but you maximize them into the future. You can have peace of mind. You can sleep well at night, every night, knowing you're doing the absolute best, better than all the rest at setting up a business that lasts, that's got longevity, that not only brings you maximum income now, but brings you maximum income in the future to build a legendary legacy, legacy, not just a flash in the pan where you're here today, gone tomorrow, not just a momentary flicker of a great business, but to have a business that continues to grow, to thrive, to expand. And while everyone else is dropping like flies, you're taking and swallowing up market share. While everyone else is freaking out, you've got a grin on your face, you got peace in your heart knowing that while everyone else is freaking out, this is your chance to take even more market share. This is your chance to shine in the midst of the darkness and win at an even higher level because you are preemptive and proactive. So that's how you build a recession-proof business, my friends. Not by chasing the bright, shiny objects, not by playing the squirrel and chasing the latest and greatest in the new, but by utilizing tried and true battle-tested systems and campaigns and strategies that allow you to maximize repeat and referral business, allow you to capture as much profit producing nectar from your database as possible, that allow you to attract top producing realtors who make you their exclusive, that allow you to generate the best quality leads at the lowest cost self-source them, and then feed those back to your top producing realtors, not as leads, but as pre-approved buyers. Let's be real, a realtor couldn't give a rat's ass about a lead. What they want is a pre-approved buyer or someone who is ready to list their home now. They don't want your leads, they want your pre-approved buyers. Once you learn how to put those systems in place, that automation in place, and you got it working while you're not working, now you can write your own ticket. Now you can literally sail into the sunset knowing that when the storm hits, you're ready. Because instead of being out there in a little dinghy and you're just you know, bobbing in the swells of the massive ocean of not only opportunity but adversity, you've got a tanker, a massive tanker. So you can weather any storm. You don't care if the waves and the swells kick up because it doesn't do jack diddle the squat to you. If anything, it just eliminates the competition so that you gain more market share. That's the positioning you wanna have. You wanna be the tanker, not the poor fella in the dinghy, you know, white knuckling it through every little swell and every little storm. You wanna be the tanker. All right, guys? So if you would like to learn how to build the systems, the campaigns, the multi-pronged, multimedia, multi-pillared, power Parthenon approach. And you don't wanna to have to go through the trouble and struggle of trying to figure out all this stuff out on your own. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. On this call, you're gonna either get with me or one of my consultants on the phone, and we're gonna lift up the hood on your business. We're gonna look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now in your business, where you wanna be, where are the missing links where you're leaving money on the table? Where are you hemorrhaging opportunities? Where are you leaving money on the table that frankly is relatively easy to fix once you know how? And if it looks like a good fit for us to work together, we'll show you how to go from where you are to where you wanna be. If we know without a shadow of a doubt that we can help you, we'll certainly show you how to do so. And if not, we'll be the first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, friends, you will leave with massive clarity, massive value, and chances are we even have some fun along the way. So if you'd like to take advantage of that complimentary call, you're a 100% commission mortgage professional, meaning that you're not just on salary making 10 bips or 20 bips per deal, but you're actually 100% commission, you eat what you kill, loan officer, mortgage broker, mortgage professional, and you wanna increase your income by $100,000 or more annually, then I invite you to take advantage of this complimentary call. All you need to do is go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com 
forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply and book your call. Hop on the calendar with uh, either myself or one of my consultants and we will absolutely rock your world with more clarity than chances are you've ever had in your entire business as to what it really takes to build a recession proof iron clad kicking ass and taking names in the face of turbulence business and leave your competition in the dust. So again, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is Doran Aldana, Mortgage Marketing Coach, coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. It's been my pleasure and privilege to hang with you today. Hope you got some value from our conversation today. Now go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results. Have a great day, guys. Be blessed. Peace.